solid generated by rotating this this two-dimensional shape around the y-axis is going to be 2 pi 2 pi times integral from this lower point to the higher points let's call that a to b of the radius of the radius the distance to this rectangle distance to the rectangle so let me just use d instead of r to reduce confusion distance to the rectangle times the height times the height of the rectangle dx so in in our case the distance to this rectangle is just x because you are because uh, your x is changing, so that's our value of x at this point. When you draw this represented rectangle, the distance becomes another x. So our distance is basically the same thing as x in our case. So we have 2 pi times the integral of x. And your height, what is your height going to be? Well, let's try to find the equation of this circle. The equation of this circle is x minus positive r squared, because the center is at capital R, 0. So x minus capital R squared plus y squared is going to be the radius, lowercase r squared. And solving for y, we get y is equal to square root of plus or minus square root of r squared minus x minus r squared. I'm just solving this equation for y. And you know, this the top semicircle, the upper semicircle is going to be positive. Let me actually draw it out. So the upper semicircle is going to be positive square root of r squared minus x minus r squared. And the lower semicircle, you're going down. So you have negative square root of negative square root of r squared times r squared minus x minus r squared. So the entire distance is going to be twice this because you're going this much up and then this much down. So the entire distance from down to up is going to be two times square root of r squared minus x minus capital R squared dx. Now we gotta figure out the bound a and b. Well, the, the blue distances are to the center of the circle and you're starting at, you're starting at right here, starting at A, and you're going till B, your A is going to be capital R minus lowercase r, because you're going all the distance and you're going back the radius of the circle, and B is going to be R plus R, so you have from R minus R to R plus R, and we wish to evaluate this. Okay, so 2 we can get out, because it's a constant, so you have 4 pi times the integral uh, from r minus r to r plus r of x times r squared minus x minus r squared dx. Now the thing is, there is some problems with this. r minus r and capital R plus r seems very, very hard to integrate. The bounds seem very complex. And you have x minus r squared. And if you have u squared instead of x minus r squared, you are going to have something that's more simplified inside the integral. So the substitution I'm going to make is going to be x minus capital R is going to equal to u. Because that's going to accomplish two things. First of all, by changing uh, x, changing the, the the integration to with respect to x to with respect to u, instead of going from r minus r to r plus r, now you're going to, now you're going from negative r to positive r because when x is capital R minus R, the corresponding U is minus R. And when X is plus R plus R, the corresponding U is just positive R. So this thing changes to from X equals to the R minus R to R plus R to U equals to negative R to R. So now this thing changed. And now your X minus R is going to simply change to U because X minus R is U. So you have your x is same thing as u plus r, square root of r squared minus u squared, and your dx is equal to du, differentiating this. So we have a nice looking integral. This x minus r went away, just replaced with u, and you're squaring it. And the bounds are more simplified too. So this thing accomplished two things that's going to help us out. And if you're confused on how I got u plus r from x, I'm just solving this equation for x. x is equal to r plus u. So I'm just substituting u plus r into x. So let's continue. So I'm going to break this apart. You have 4 pi times let's distribute, 
integral from r to r of u times square root of r squared minus u squared du distributing plus integral from negative r to r of r times square root of r squared minus u squared du and you're multiplying by the entire thing and you have 4 pi now this expression is odd this function is odd because when you plug in negative u it's going to switch sign but u squared is going to stay the same because negative u squared is u squared and when you're integrating an odd function from negative r to r from from an interval symmetric with respect to zero you're simply going to get zero so this entire thing this entire thing simplifies to zero and if you're confused on why think about how odd function looks like when a function is odd the function uh, uh, from zero to positive infinity is a reflection with respect to our origin of the function from zero to negative infinity in our case when you plug in a positive one let's say positive one you have one times square root of r squared minus one squared when you plug in negative one you get negative one times r squared minus one squared so you still get you get a shape that's symmetric with respect to origin when you plug in one you get some positive when you plug in negative one you get the reflection of that and when you're integrating from in a symmetric way from negative r to r this area this negative area is going to cancel out with this positive area negative integral and positive integral is how i should say it so they cancel out so this thing is going to be zero and what about this one we can get r outside r times integral from negative r to r of square root of r squared minus u squared du well the equation we have right here is equation of a semicircle and you may say why well think about it like this let's say y is equal to square root of r squared minus u squared when you square both sides you get r y squared is r squared minus u squared or u squared plus y squared is r squared that's the equation of a circle with u axis and y axis and since you're taking because it's in the form u squared plus y squared is r squared you know you have a circle with radius r and since you're taking positive square root you're looking at the semicircle semicircle on the top if you're looking at negative square root that's going to be semicircle down below but in our case you're finding area of the semicircle from negative r to r so that's simply going to be pi r squared area of the entire circle divided by 2 so this part is going to be pi r squared over 2 so we have 4 pi times capital r times pi r squared over 2 and this thing simplifies to 2 pi 2 pi squared because you have two two pi's r squared and r and we are done